The Azores Islands, a paradise lost in the middle of the Atlantic with breathtaking landscapes, lakes, and sea volcanoes, and an oasis for marine life. Due to its unique location, the Azores is one of the best spots in the world to observe and study whales and dolphins. More than 25 different cetacean species have been sighted in this area. Here is where we are, and here is where we operate. Two PhD students, two projects, and one ultimate goal contribute to the preservation of the whales and dolphins of the Azores. What we did so far? Four years ago, we started an adventure to find out more about cetaceans. Scientists and business owners created a win win partnership. We developed an online database to collect and share observation data from the local whale and dolphin watching companies. We called it the Moniset Project. Now, anyone can log on the project website and discover which are the best months to see blue whales or where are the best spots to see sperm whales. Now, we want to take the next step, the scientific one. All the information coming in year after year is beginning to show us patterns. Certain species are constantly seen in certain locations, in certain periods. Others change in tune with ocean rhythms that we're beginning to discover. So, what if? What if we could use these regularities to predict where cetaceans could be found? To answer this question, we need to go beyond whale watching data. We need to look at the new areas where there is no data available to improve our knowledge of cetacean distribution in the archipelago. With this information, we will be able to create maps of potential distribution to be used by operators and government to fulfill their missions. With these maps, operators will be able to improve their success. But what about the whales and dolphins? Would they be happy to spend more time with boats around them? A code of conduct has been implemented in the ASOS. This establishes how cetaceans should be approached and the kind of activities that can be developed with each species. But is this code of conduct working? To answer this question, we will study the interaction of commercial boats with whales and dolphins. We will record from land all the different reactions of the animal toward the boats. From this, we will extract the recommendations to the businesses and to the regulators. We want to improve the knowledge about cetaceans in the Azores in order to contribute to the sustainable development of the region and the well-being of its marine mammals. Let's work together! Support us! <laughs>